that sometimes we look into things but we do not see that mm -hmm. we can see what happened. Mm -hmm. So if this is a case, so in that case, what happens? Uh, whether we can see self by self or we can see the body by the self or what it happens? Yeah, see, basically what is important to us, we pay attention to that. Yeah. So, for instance, right now, many, the reflection of many objects may be falling on your eyes, isn't it? The image of many objects may be there on your retina. Mm -hmm. But what you pay attention to, that you decide. Yeah. So, uh, you, you know, if you think this, what is being discussed here, all this is important, then you will be seeing what is there on your phone or on your laptop on, or computer screen, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But if you look at the screen, from the corners of your eyes, you will also be able to see so many other objects around you. Hmm. Isn't it? But you hmm. may not be paying attention to that because you are paying attention to this. Hmm. Similarly, supposing you are reading something. Hmm. Now you were looking at the letters and you were paying attention to the letters. And suddenly the word home came in that and you started thinking about the home. Hmm. Now you, your thoughts have gone to your spouse, your children, your extended family, maybe the time you had in the last festival together, something. Mm, yes. So all that time you are busy with yourself. You had decided to read, mm. but somewhere you got lost in your thoughts, your yes. thoughts, your feelings, isn't it? Mm. So at that time, it's like you're not reading, you're not paying attention because you thought that was more important, you have shifted to that. Mm. Suddenly then you become aware that, oh, you were supposed to be reading. Now you snap out of it and you come back to the sentence and sometimes you may not even remember where you read up to. Mm. You may find it hard to recall which line you were reading and so on. So this uh, is just showing that this is what we meant when we were saying that a lot of times we are busy with ourselves and we are not even aware that the body is there. But at even that time, all those, you know, the images that were being found on the retina of all the objects around you were still the same. But you didn't notice it because you were busy with something else that you were paying attention to, your own thoughts. Happens, no? Yes, happens. But my question is huh. that that is what is called uh, normally the absent-mindedness. Uh, suppose something happened in front of me, but I have no notice. Mm -hmm. So in that case, uh, how? what is the relationship? There is the same relationship? thing, no? Same thing. See, absent-mindedness is what you do something, some action outside and you have forgotten or no, you are not aware. Uh, suppose I am given a task hmm. to see something, but so it happened in front of me, but if somebody asked me what happened, I can't say because I was absent-minded that time. Yeah, that absent-mindedness, if we observe clearly, we will notice that we got lost in thought sometime, perhaps. As we become more and more aware, you will notice that these cases of absent-mindedness in you become less and less because you are more aware. When you are aware, when you are conscious, conscious meaning, you can see, you know, you're observing your thoughts and you're observing the outside. You pay attention to all of these. So when you are keeping your keys, you remember that you are keeping your keys. You won't forget this because now you are aware. But supposing 
you are keeping the keys but you are thinking about something else at that time then if you try to recall you may not remember did i keep the keys did i not keep the keys did i turn off the gas did i not turn off the gas did i turn off the light or the switch or did i leave it on mm -hmm. isn't it there is a medical condition called ocd obsessive mm -hmm. compulsive disorder mm -hmm. where people tend to do this they forget something or they are not you know aware and they supposing they they have some thoughts about say some uh, fears that somebody may just come in through the door who is uh, you know going to harm them or something like that now with those kind of thoughts they might keep checking the front door again and again and again to make sure it is locked they may do it 10 times and not recollect that they are doing it again and again because there is so much conflict going on in the mind there is so much fear maybe a past experience maybe whatever some belief some assumption so they just keep doing this and they are not aware that they are doing it again and again so in the medical um you know today that is being treated with medication and so on but if you really see this is not a problem in the body this is a problem in the self so perhaps you know it can be approached with counseling helping the other to become more aware so that you know eventually one can face these fears what are these fears about and try to observe them directly and uh, you know as we see more and more what is normal what is natural what is naturally acceptable and as we go further and further in trying to you know bring our imagination in line with this we start observing everything then we will we can actually come out of all these fears but for that we have to have you know at least start with this that yes the self is there and this problem could be not a problem in the body but a problem in the self so we can approach it that way yes but i am not um, saying that it is continuous it happens for a long time it happens very short for a very short periods for some moment i mean some yeah. second so because that, we are this is what is happening when we are not aware every moment so some moments we may not be aware at that moment whatever we do we don't recall it hmm yes yes but if we are conscious we are aware it is easy for us to recall it hmm i mean you can keep it open you can observe you can try to see it in yourself but this is what i would say okay yeah